Today I would like to talk about the jQuery data table and I would like to uh, be able to add uh, capability to reorder columns uh, on the client side. So let's get started. Uh, here I have a jQuery data table uh, pretty much working and, uh, and I'm going to show you how to add the reordering capabilities. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, add uh, this column reorder plugin and I'm going to order add this uh, JavaScript uh, basically at this point in the towards end uh, so we did that the next thing we want to do is to add some CSS that comes with this plugin called column reorder and we'll pretty much add it towards the top here and uh, let's do that and once you do that you need to enable the plugin to do certain things and I'm going to show you how to do that so normally we just have a table and it is set up for data table so we will order add an option so we can uh, get the data table to uh, use the column reorder plugin and I would also going to indicate that the uh, the real time is false because that's uh, what I found it to be pretty convenient uh, most of the time and uh, the last thing I want to do is uh, we want to be able to listen to an event when the columns are reordered and I'm going to add it uh, here in the document ready let's just do a JS format here okay so let me explain you the code uh, besides that uh, we have the data table so we added an option say column reorder and we want to say the real time is false and uh, on, when the column reorder event happens uh, we get uh, three things uh, the event the settings and the details and uh, I'm going to log in the console uh, details and I can show you uh, how you can use that to figure out uh, what uh, and how the new columns are so after doing all this code uh, let's just uh, see it in action so I'm going to uh, uh, this so what I'm going to do is say office column I'm putting my left column and see you can see I'm doing a drag and I moved it to the very first position so it's going to be uh, so you can remove uh, change the columns and here is my log that came through and if you look at my log uh, this is the details object and uh, it's basically telling you is we move the column two to zero see because the column two used to be the office and now it's the zeroth column and if you want to look at the exact mapping you can also look in this details function and uh, see the array that uh, the column two is now zero and uh, and the column zero one two so that's the, the new ordering you can see is three, four, five is unchanged and uh, two has uh, changed to this. And this is how you can figure out the column. And here is uh, another easy way to so is that the move is from to column two to zero. And this is the information that you can use uh, to uh, kind of uh, work with the data table. And the advantage with this is you can provide column reordering capabilities to your end users if they don't like what columns uh, that are being provided. So thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to learn more, uh, you can uh, go to my website and search for this and other videos. And I'll just quickly show you how to search maybe for data table, data table. So here is one uh, video you can see data table jQuery and data table. So thank you very much for watching this short screencast.